Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a two minute spiral. And this is the microwave method. And I didn't come up with this, Tulip did. You want to start by turning your shirt inside out and then smoothing it. For this particular project, I'm going to make the spiral by starting it on the back of the shirt. So what I mean is, you want to take the front of the shirt, lay it flat on the table, and then you want to find the center in the back of the shirt. Give it a little pinch, and then you want to spiral it up. Now, notice I'm not using any tools for this. I can make spirals without tools, believe it or not. So you give it a little pinch, and then you use your other hand to create the spiral. So I'm pulling and I'm twisting and I'm pulling and I'm twisting and I wanna to try to make sure that I'm not having any of the pleats overlap. Now that it's all spiraled up, it's time to secure it and I'm going to use rubber bands. I prefer to use rubber bands to secure my spirals, but you could also use kite string. But for this particular shirt, I'm using the rubber bands that came out of my Tulip 2 Minute Tie Dye Kit. I just want to make sure that everything is the same. Try to tuck in all of your loose tails, and if you can, have your rubber bands intersect in the center of the spiral. It's not necessary, but it is helpful when adding the dye. This spiral is going to be a three color rainbow. So I'm going to start by using the lemon yellow and I wanna make sure to cover half of the spiral and take it right through the center of it. The next color is fuchsia red and essentially I'm going to do the same exact thing that I just did with a lemon yellow. So I'm going to make sure that I cover one of the pieces of the pie with fuchsia red and then I'm going to overlap it over top of the yellow which is going to create orange. And then I'm going to do the next piece of pie that's white and cover that with a fuchsia red and then when I add blue on top of that it's going to make purple. Lastly is the turquoise. So I'm going to color one of the pieces of pie turquoise. I'm going to overlap it over top of the fuchsia red to create that purple. And then I'm going to overlap it over top of the lemon yellow to create green. Once you have the top side dyed the way that you want it, you want to flip it over and repeat the same thing on the back side.
With this process, it's really important that you put it in the microwave while it's damp. So as soon as you get done dyeing it the way that you want it, you want to immediately put it into the container. Otherwise, it could become crispy on the edges and could potentially start a fire in your microwave. Now, I don't know this from experience. That's just what the instructions say. So dye it up, get it directly into the container and go right in and get it into the microwave. This is a medium sized Gildan shirt and I decided for this particular microwave and that size of a shirt, three minutes is the magic number. When you put your shirt in, you need to decide what wattage your microwave is, what size your shirt is, and what you, know, what you need to do. The instructions from Tulip said two minutes and 30 seconds to three minutes and 30 seconds. Do not walk away from your microwave. If something should start to go haywire, you need to be right there to fix the situation. This could catch on fire, you guys, so just pay attention. So after the three minutes, I set a timer on my phone for 15 minutes. Tulip recommends letting it rest for 15 minutes and I can understand why. This thing is steaming hot and you don't want to burn yourself. Plus I guess, you know, it's going to give it a little bit of time to batch and cool before you start to rinse it. So after the 15 minutes, I'm going to take it to the sink and I'm going to rinse it out like I do any other project. For the rinse out, you want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers. And then you gradually increase the water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a plain hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is now called Kirilon because Synthropol has been discontinued again. So if you're looking to buy it, it's going to be called, well, Synthropol slash Kirilon down below in my description box. Then I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, and Millsoft brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. That's not a necessary step, it's just something I choose to do. And then I put it in the dryer, and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out great. Who knew you could microwave your tie dye in two minutes and have it come out looking like this? Yeah, I know it wasn't just two minutes, but you know what I mean? Like it's awesome. It's so vibrant. You know, the fact that, you know, you can make a rainbow out of just three primary colors and it looks like this afterwards. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. So the next thing that we're going to look at is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Tulip two-minute microwave versus the Dharma two-minute microwave. And there is value in both of them. Looking at them side-by-side, -side, there's an obvious, you know, standout winner in the Dharma's vibrancy. But that doesn't diminish Tulip. I mean, I think Tulip actually is a much prettier spiral. It's more fluid. So there's value in both of them. For me, as a tie dyer, I'm going to definitely stay with Dharma because it's professional dye and it, you know, it's going to hold its color much longer. The Tulip has only been washed two times and it already has a dingy look to it. But listen, you know, if this is your first time creating tie dye, you should start with a kit. I would never just jump out and go buy $100 worth of anything without knowing if I even like to do it first. So starting with the kit is the right way to go. And Tulip really does make a good kit because think about it guys, if I didn't get that kit, I would have never known that we could microwave our shirts. So like how awesome is that, right? 
So what do you guys think? What's your opinion? Which one do you like better? Are you going to stay with Tulip? Are you going to move into Dharma? You know, what are you going to do? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing. <laughs>